Hello guys and welcome to Paint with Mark. I thought I'd do a really quick video. I'm going to show you how to paint a basic flower because I've had a few requests on how to paint a basic flower. So get your tools together and all we're going to use is just basically, I'll put a little bit of colour around here. I've just flicked some colour and I've used a half inch flat brush. All different colours here. I've just put a little bit of liquid white around the edges. I've kept this circle bit here just dry. So this is a dry canvas in this part here. And I've just flicked a bit of colour there just to have it loose. Now as a little bonus, if you stay right to the end and watch the whole lot, I might even show you how to do a couple of little leaves as well. So you can't say fair than that guys. So we're going to use a, a half inch flat brush and the colours I've got is I've just got a little bit of lizard and crimson and some titanium white and I've mixed them together and I'm going to add a little bit of refined linseed oil just a little tiny bit just a little tiny in there so that's all I'm going to do at the moment guys so before we start please like subscribe and comment below if you need any, uh, any questions you're not sure about and I really appreciate if you share the video for me so let's get started guys so all I'm going to do is this sort of circle I'm going to do a nice big basic flower for you to get an idea so I've got the colour and like I said I've gone into a little bit of I've got some linseed oil on a, on a sheet here and I'm just mixing it in one way and the other way so it's just sort of like a, a shiny finish and literally I'm just going to work from the middle and work outwards just feathering it out now I'm not too worried about the edges what it looks like at the moment I'm just literally just feathering it all out from the middle outwards and again this is dry dry canvas so it will dry pretty quick but just literally I'm just flicking out that's all we're concerned about at the moment just flicking it all out from the from the center nice sort of pinky color yeah and you can notice that you know, I've come out a little bit more in places than others and that's a good thing because we don't want it all the same so literally I'm just flicking out coming out the side of it. so we've got some colour on there so you can see it's a nice sort of pinky colour right in the middle there for you so now I'm going to go into some Elizabeth Crimson just wipe my hand so I'm going to get some Elizabeth Crimson here just neat straight Elizabeth Crimson pull it one way and the other way basically I'm going to put some dark right in the middle here so a little bit here in the middle there I'm going to load up the brush again and we do like a sort of smiley face so I'm going to hold the brush sideways and just do a line underneath there so it goes up like so so you can see that in the video and from here I'm just going to literally, I'm just going to flick up slightly. So from this middle part here, I'm just going to flick up. Take this out. So all from this middle part, so you can see there, got a nice dark area and it's just flicking upwards. And this part here, I'm just going to flick out slightly and down. I'm just flicking it down there. I'm going to put a bit more colour on this just so you can see this guys in case it's not showing up hard enough on the video. So I'm going to go one side and turn it over and basically all I did is I little, put, put a little bit of colour there into the centre part here and I've just literally just flicked up and outwards. And then under there I've done a little line and literally I've just pulled this colour out like so. So I hope, hope that all makes sense. Now I'm going to just wipe the brush and I'm going to a little bit of thinners. I'll do a little thinner and then I'm going to squeeze the tissue to get most of this out. I'm going back into the thinners again just to get most of this out. And then I'm going to go into some refined linseed oil again. So you've got some linseed oil. I'm just going to rub my brush one way and the other way and I'm going to clean it in the uh, linseed oil and then I'm going to squeeze it 
because obviously I'm going to go into a lighter colour now. So now I'm going to go into some titanium white. I'm going to pull it one way and the other way. And I'm going to go into a little bit of medium. I'm going to linseed oil, put a little bit on the brush. And then I'm going to go back into the white. I'm going to pull it one way yellow. So sort of, sort of a shiny sort of finish. And then what I'm going to do then is I'm going to start from the edge and then I'm going to pull inwards. So I'm going to start from say here and just literally just flick inwards. So I'm going to actually start shaping the petals on the outside. So I just touch on the outside and pull down. Okay, so touch and pull down. Touch, pull down. Touch and pull down. Now at the moment, I'm just sort of doing a lot of just sort of lines. But then what I'm going to do, I'm going to start creating in a minute the actual petals themselves. But at the moment, I'm just literally going to touch, pull down into the middle here. Touch, pull down. Touch, pull down. I'm, I'm just doing this top half of the time in. Just touch and pull it in. I'm pulling it all into this sort of cup shape. Now, on a white brush, I think about now the petal shape. So I'm going to put some more medium on there and go back into the white. And I'm going to think about the petal shape now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create one big petal here. So I'm going to start from here, touch, pull round, touch, pull round, touch, pull round, touch, pull round. And I'm joining all the bits together so they're becoming one big petal. So touch, pull round, pull round, pull round. So this is all becoming one big petal here. Then I'm going to go back into my colour. I'm going to put this one over the top of this one. So I'm going to touch, come down. Hopefully you can see that. So that's separated this petal from this petal. Touch, pull down, touch, pull down. So you've got like one petal here, one petal there. Okay, now to define this one for you, I'm going to put a little bit more white on there. I'm just going to touch and pull that into there so you can obviously see this edge of this petal. So you've got one petal there and you've got one petal there. I'm going to go back into the white again, a little bit of medium. I'm going to come to this edge now. And again, we're all putting from the side into, the, into this part here. Keep the dark. So I'll start from here so you can see. So I'm going to touch, pull round, touch, and pull round, touch, and pull round. So now we've got another petal here. Now hopefully you can see that on the video. Another petal there. Now this becomes down, round, and up. So we'll load on the white again. Got some more white on there. So this here will, comes down to this line here. So basically, let me just get some more medium on there. So imagine that the bottom of this, if I just draw this in, like so, this will be the bottom of your petals here. So load up again. So basically it's going to come around down to this, down to this point here. Around, down to this point here. From this middle bit, down to here, touch, down, touch, down, from here, touch, around, around, down, so it's all coming down there, so you can see that, hopefully you can see that this is a part that overlaps and out there, so I'll just put some more white on there, that's a bit more defined, now to make it uh, really define on the little petals, I use the very tip of the brush. And what I do, I hold it sideways on and just touch, lift up and down. Touch and down, touch and down. So the petals stand out more. Hopefully they will stand out more for you on the video. Okay, so that's those ones. I'm going to come around to the side now. Put some more white on there, a bit more medium, and I'm going to put take this one across here. So touch around, 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 around. So another petal there. Then I'm going to come here, just fill in this part here. Touch 
and around on there. And then we've got some of these ones here that we're going to pull up from the side here. So I'll put some more white on there, a little bit of medium. And these ones, I'm just going to touch and pull it into there. So I'm going to touch, in, 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 in. So you see little petals there. I'm going to come into this side. I like to do bits at a time, little tiny bits at a time. So I touch, pull in, up, 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 and up. So you can see the little petals around the edge there. I'm just going to define this edge a bit more. Put a bit more white on that part there. You will pick up a little bit of pink as you're, as you're doing this. I just want to get a little bit more in there so you can see that one tucking in the corner there. Okay, I think that's right. I can, and again, you can bring these out more if you need to. Like this one here, I'm going to start from there. I'm going to bring that right across. So I can bring it right in like so. To give you an idea okay and then so that's that part and then I'll get a little tiny liner brush in the liner brush and just get some neat alizarin crimson and we're just gonna pull up a few lines the little dots on the end the little st stamen And I hope that sort of gives you an idea, just a very, very basic flower. And again, if you want some of these to stand out more, you can just go back into your colour. Okay, so let's say I wanted this one to stand out a little bit more and come out a bit more. You just come out slightly wider, touch, pull it in. You see the way that I'm creating this lovely petal? Like so. You can see that lovely petal. Now, as I said, if you stay to the end, again, this is a very basic shape and a very basic idea, just to get you practicing, that's, 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 the, that's the way. So I'm just going to do now, just a couple of leaves, because uh, for those of you who stayed till the end, I'm just going to clean my brush, like so. We'll get a little bit of green. That's one on the green. So I'm just going to get some green. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to go into a little bit of medium and a little bit of the green. And I'm just gonna just gonna do a little line coming down, something like that, a little stem. And then I'm gonna do like a, a kite shape. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a kite shape. So I'm gonna come along here, along here, along there, and along there. So that looks like a a, a, a kite shape, and I'll do another one over here as well. It's a rough kite shape, but I hope you can see that on the video. And then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna fill this in. So I'm just gonna fill this in with this colour. Start from here. I'm actually just gonna wiggle it around. And fill this in. Then I'm going to go back into my colour and I'll add a little bit of blue with it, just a little bit of phthalo blue. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from this point and work inwards. Okay, so I'm going to touch, go in, touch from this point, go in, and I'm coming all to this point here. So I'm touch. In, touch, in. Come to the other side, touch, in, in. And then I'll do a little line. So, so I hope that you can see that. I will highlight that for you. So a little bit of blue, a little bit of green. From this point here, I'm going to touch and 
pull towards this centre part. Come out here, touch, pull to the centre, touch, pull to the centre. Come this side, touch, touch, touch. Do a little tiny line perhaps to there. And what I can do is get a little bit of yellow. What have I got here? I've got a little bit of engine yellow. So I could just use a little bit of that, just a bit of a highlight. And just on the on the very tip, what you can do, you can just touch, flick it in there. Just a little bit of colour. So touch, flick it in there, and I perhaps I'll put a bit on this side. Just a little bit of colour adds a little bit of interest. Okay, let's just go a bit down, make that a little bit better. Sorry about that. So, I hope that's given you a, a very basic idea how to do a, a simple flower and a couple of leaves. So that's Mark Terrell with Paint with Mark signing off and I hope you enjoy this quick little tutorial and I hope you're going to have a little go yourself. See you next time soon. Thank you. Bye.